Mm. Told you you can have the baddest. Hey. I'm, I'm taking this one. <laughs> that was so smooth. Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos. And this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where I react to everything I ain't ever seen. And today we are jumping into that gaming territory once again. One more again for some Assassin's Creed all cinematic CGI trailers reaction. Yes, man, we're gonna be reacting to all these things. We're gonna try to get up to date on what's been going on with these characters because admittedly, I haven't been keeping up with this franchise as much as I used to. I am somewhat familiar with it, guys. So this ain't gonna be like a all out blind reaction. I got a chance to play these games. I stopped at Assassin's Creed Black Flag because I felt like the, I don't know, it was something about the franchise that wasn't really just captivated me like it used to like when I played Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin's Creed 1 almost took me out of there. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. It was kind of boring. It was a snore fest because I couldn't follow everything that needed to be done up in that game. And the characters weren't that interesting to me. But in the second game, when you got a chance to play with Ezio, he was cool. You know, it didn't require him to miss one finger to use the little blade, which I think is one of the coolest weapons up in this franchise. It's always going to be a signature weapon that you got to go to. You know what I'm saying? You got to stab somebody in the neck one good time or stab them up in the nipple. However you want to do it, you know, whether it be like a tap on the shoulder, which leads to a stab or maybe like a high five that leads to you like like stabbing their fucking vital or like i don't know like some kind of vein or main artery or something it's you got to do something with that blade that's one of the uh signature things man but yeah man somewhat familiar with it i didn't get a chance to play all of assassin's creed 2 played a little bit of assassin's creed 3 shout outs to my man hate them underrated character started off as protagonist became a villain by the end of the game if i'm not mistaken since you got a chance to play with his son connor who is another underrated character uh so yeah but i am very much interested in seeing these cgi trailers because i didn't really follow all the different trailers you know i just jumped right into these games you know my friends owned them i got a chance to own a couple of them just didn't get a chance to complete them so at least i can end that chapter by watching these so i hope you guys enjoy it man i cannot wait so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into all the cinematic cgi trailers of assassin's creed this is going to be 2007 to 2022 so yeah let's go ahead and do this man all right if i'm not mistaken that's like the animus thing that they're using with ubisoft if i'm not mistaken this thing was supposed to be in a, a prince of persia game until it kind of went in a different creative direction but they use a lot of uh realistic historical events and shit loading This don't look like CGI. This look in game. Okay, there's that's CGI. That's obviously. Yeah, so this is a mix and match of CGI meets in game footage. Of course, we got the man walking up in the crowd, ready to do what it do. Oh yeah, they already see you. <laughs> hey. Right up in the neck, baby. You know what it is. May he rest in peace. <laughs> I'm out this bitch. I think another reason why I didn't like the game is because I couldn't move as fluid as the trailers made him out to move, you know? It's like everything went all free flow. Hey, got the whole squad with me. Oh, this, this ain't the squad. I'm tripping. He just casually walks off to the bathroom for a piss break. Assassin's Creed. Fourteen eighty six, baby. I already know what this is leading into. 
Somebody needs to remaster these, like maybe upscale them in 4K or some shit. Look at these niggas, they ready to go to the Illuminati party. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Everybody getting down. The new little boosty CD that came out. The chicks got they zesty chesties showing. The milk motels is out. Fight it, boys. Do not simp out. Oh, shit. He's too weak. Hmm. You getting down with this shit. Go ahead and show us something. Show us a few moves. Uh-oh, something's off. <laughs> and just like that, you get clapped. <clears throat> well, won't be seeing him in the sequels. Won't be seeing him in Rush Hour, folks. That nigga. I want that nigga now. Mm. Yeah, this is when the counter system went into a major overhaul. Like you could counter all kind of moves in this game. Obviously, kind of falling off the heels of uh, the Arkham series from Rocksteady. Parkour got refined. Like this is when it was at its peak. Like it got so good that people were just amazed. Nah, ain't no stopping this shit. You know, we on top of a building. It's over for your ass. I got vantage points, nigga. To the entrance. Don't let him see. Wait, we might come out. <laughs> this man got tendonitis in his knees and shit. Yeah, you know what it is when you hear that bird, nigga. Got all about the wrist blaster. If I'm not mistaken, he had these connections. I think Leonardo da Vinci was one of his uh, inventors in this one. Got that ass. That's why I say, man, if they come out with uh, Assassin's Creed guilds in modern day, they need to go to O Block for some inspiration. Just have it where they, you know, they still assassins, but they outside with it. Literally outside. Like some savages. Man, this looks really good. Is it a Thanksgiving parade? Shit. Reverend Devon! And that is uh, Caesar or Cheshire Bolgier. Yeah, let's get this sister fucker out of here. They own you, bro. What was that? Okay, yeah, I forgot. You got you got a little aerial support. <laughs> you got the dual blades too. This shit is bringing back so many great memories. Nigga, that's what we do, man. You know what it is when you hit the bird. Fly like an eagle, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Me and my homies gonna spin. 
Oh! Even horses can get it. Man, sit down somewhere. You ain't even on the field like that. You a daddy's boy. Shit, we got the homies, though. Come with us if you want to be great. You get a free hoodie, too. Nice. Ubisoft. Or is it Ubi? Is it Ubisoft or Ubi? Mm, this is when Ezio was down bad, if I'm not mistaken. Oh shit, they got me in my shoulder piece. So what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I feel most strong. Goddamn Patrick Stewart. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. It was on sight once I saw that arrow shoot me in the shoulder. Mm. Can we still claim it for our own? Yeah. Who is a countering monster by this point? But because our struggle seems to move in one direction only, towards chaos. Mm. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far to find clarity, to find the wisdom. Is that Altair? By the great Altair. Okay. So oh shit! I forgot your weapons could break. My place in it. Look at this ugly motherfucker. It's like a rejected clone of Jason Statham or something. Get this nigga out of here. That's all right, boys. I got this. Should my skills fail me, or my ambition lead me astray, do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory. You gonna kill this nigga? continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, but the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. Mm. So that's how it ends. Uh, he's gonna get hung. Why he look like Liam Neeson up in this? Oh, yeah, nigga, you heard the bird? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. They gonna hang a pimp like me, man? Got me looking like Rachel Ghoul up in this motherfucker. You see the highlights? You know what I'm saying? I age with grace, nigga. Okay, Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Mm. The red jackets are coming, baby. Or the red coats, whatever you want to call them. Everybody like they smell like uh, post office and old newspapers. <laughs> I watch them fight and die in the name of freedom. They speak of liberty and justice, but for who? For who indeed, baby? Fly like an eagle. Hey, it's like he transformed or something. Hey man, the show's over. Get your hands off me. Hey, you just gonna steal the horse? <laughs> I 
Yeah, them muskets ain't gonna do shit, man. You gotta reload them bitch. You gotta put that gunpowder up in there. Mm. Hell yeah. This is my favorite one. This is the one where you get to run in buildings and do parkour too. Mm. Yeah. And I think you get a pistol. Yeah, Tamahawk is my death blow. <laughs> yeah! What you got to say now, mole face? Moly, moly, moly. It's on sight. <laughs> yeah. Instead of patchy blood in me, nigga. Hmm. Not mistaken, that's George Washington. Beautiful. Insurrection is the most something something. Didn't give me a chance to read it. Rise. Assassin's Creed 3. Pre order now. We hold these truths to be self evident. Ooh. Our land and our way of life. Oh, yeah, they really wrapped it up on this one. But they did a lot of cinematics for the third installment. I like how the ink is. See how you get to run through the buildings and fuck up motherfuckers and then jump out all cool on some Jason Bourne shit? And then jump to another nigga's window with a musket? Yeah, man, we ain't backing out for nothing. They really need to put Connor up in a fighting game. Right? Go ahead and sign it off, man. Sign his name in blood. October 30th. Black Flag. This is the pirate setting. I forgot this guy's name, but I think he's Hatham's father and the uh, grandfather of the guy we recently just saw. Ah, damn, what boy shit roughly than a motherfucker, bruh? Looks like he got a, a, a layer of wet Dixie plates around his neck. Cheers, man. Bitch. Told you it was on. Uh. <laughs> you ain't bad. Get shit out of here. Oh, uh, black dude ain't dying first this time. Motherfucker. This was spoiling the 1000 episode of One Piece. Yeah, right up in the sides. In <laughs> kidneys, man. Who boots is these? Yeah, Wolverine Daddy? Come aboard and bring along all your hopes and dreams. Together we can kill the bandits that we're looking for. On site, stan, stan. yeah, they had uh pirate battles like pirate ship battles. I think the third one did it, but this one right here really perfected it because it's about pirates. But for some reason, I like the third pirate ship battles better. Let me know if I'm tripping though. It, like, was this better than the third one to you guys? 
You have to jump on there and invade their ships and shit. I think this is better because you could actually jump on the ships. Though. I, don't, I don't think the third one you could do that shit. Yeah. Then you could do that too. It was more... Like it had more spectacle to the battles. So you just jumped on there like that. And then toss the nigga guns like they ain't nothing. Yeah, I'll take that. I wanted the bag. Got the blade to make your neck go slack. Yeah. No, oh, no, nigga. He ain't fucking with me with the sword battles. Oh shit, he is. He kind of keeping up with him a little bit. Maybe I was wrong. You still got your wrist blades. Damn. <laughs> I don't think you could do that in the game, though, could you? What is that? Hmm. Defy empires. Okay, Blackbeard. Really? There was a time when I thought myself the deadliest scourge of the sea. Okay, shit, he all pistoled out though. But this man He different, he built different. <laughs> Quick draw McGraw up in the in the house. Damn. Clacking niggas in the back of their head with their own guns and shit, doing RKO's on niggas. Mm. Get to lay with the bitches. Yeah, Edward. That was his name, Edward Kenway. All right, man. Got gotcha. you. Mm. Told you you could have the baddest bitch. I'm, I'm taking this one. <laughs> that was so smooth. Boy. Damn, my boy tatted up. Bitch, I challenge you to a doing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now you just wrap my man's ankle like it wasn't nothing. That was smooth. Look like Blackbeard right there. You get to blow up the little like barrels and shit. I am. I ain't afraid to clap a nigga after I can smash some cheeks. Black flag, baby. Let's go. Fuck your Jolly Roger. Freedom cry. You don't have David Hasselhoff? Okay. This don't look CGI. This look real. Why does it look like Michael Blackson? Okay, got a fortune. Mm.
No more master for you. Motherfucker. You see the pics? Nice. You got a machete? Hmm. Let's go. Matana. Shout out to the motherland, bro. Assassin's Creed Road. So the brothers just get one trailer. Everybody else get like four or five of them. Come on now. I bet this nigga got like six trailers. Let brother shine, man. Y'all barely even gave me CGI. I was mostly, mainly in the live action. The air is still, and I am a hunter. The hunt has led me to the forgotten edges of this world. Seasons pass, drawing me deeper into the darkness. That, gla that grass looked real. You think you self rolling somebody burning away the past? Gonna burn it down? Why they show it Altair like that? Why they keep disrespecting Altair? Why this man got a Razor Ramon hairstyle? What's an assassin? Now their pursuer. Really? I must destroy those who I once called brother. Damn, so we playing for the ops now? Man, that looks good. His face looks real. Wow. So that's why they call it Rogue. Unity. Mm. Wings flapping. Wish I could be a bird so I had to worry about paying bills and taxes. This guy here, like he needs to be on a Quaker oatmeal box. With his uh sideburns, which ain't matching his wig. What is this? All right, come now, boys. Got a photo shoot. I'm pretty sure this song is gonna be copyrighted like a motherfucker. Turning back. I like how y'all just make good songs depressing. <laughs> it's like that same chick they hired to make these songs very moody and shit. Behavior Mother Nature All these niggas want to rule the world Ooh, so we just diving right in? So they got multiple assassins mm -hmm. Well, we can climb now. We can get our Spider Man on. That's forever. Somebody need to get this girl a cough drop. Her throat sounds raspy. And she's gonna blast them down like that? Yeah. That's how we do it, man. We do it for the people. Damn. <laughs> This shit. So sad they had to fade it. Yeet your ass up out the window. Ooh, smoke bombs. So this must be the main guy leading the charge. They gotta get him out of here. Woo. <laughs> uh. Yeah. She gonna do, man. 
I'll do it. I'll blow us all up. Yeah, what you gonna do now? <laughs> You've already been stabbed, though, haven't you? Everybody wants to steal my girl. Unite and fight. Assassin's Creed Unity. Yeah, that had to be the one with multiplayer, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think that one did that good either. But I like the actual. I like the premise. Clock's ticking. I told the pizza dude he only had 30 seconds left, and he he my warning. Man, this one looks real. Hurry up, man. I gotta go into the movies. I heard my, Michael Fassbender killed his performance up in this. Somebody's gonna get executed. That must be the homie. That's gotta be something. You gotta think of all the different shortcuts to get to these locations in order to stop them from killing your friends. Boy, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. That's too much for me. And plus, I don't have the cardio for this shit. Who is that? Well, that's another one. They just dropping these bodies. Get them out of here. Excuse me. Ooh, you ugly. Get out of my face. Uh. <laughs> like I did that. Motherfucker. Get all up in that chest. It's like a music video. It's like a love ballad. Oh, she was a Templar. That means we don't love you no more. You gotta kill her yourself. Exactly. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so a lot has changed. It seemed like if you were a Templar, that means that you were going to die at the hands of the Assassin's Guild. But now, it's like anybody can be a part of the squad. Damn. This morning, I was just a troll. Wow. <laughs> yes let's go <laughs> please kill him for being ugly and thinking he can do that he ain't got no riz yeah <laughs> Unity! So they were really pushing this game. They had a lot of promotions for it. This guy sounds drunk, whoever that is they got singing. Alright, what is this? Assassin's Creed of uh, Passion of the Christ? You got Jesus as the main character now? It's like either Jesus or Jared Leto. Damn! 
I guess he didn't have the uh, password. <laughs> Get him! He know what the password is. Mm. Damn. Wow. All right, man, you better hurry up before you slide down. Of course. Dead Kings. It's like the main character. Oh, okay. I thought he died for a second. History. All right, man, I was just going to say, we was in Unity for a good minute. The fuck is that? Wow. So he got the crows now, the ravens. Devil's Acre. Goddamn top hat Terrence, that's how you gonna do my boy? All right, that nigga look like Hugh Jackman a little bit. <laughs> okay, is this guy an assassin or is he a bad guy, one of the main villains? He looks like he's for the people, at least. Okay, he's an assassin. You gotta kill this man for wearing these bad, atrocious looking pants. Okay, oh, there we go. All right. I can dig it. <laughs> yeah, this guy has to die. Uh huh. You can go ahead and hit your ride. Is it like this? This is what I've been waiting to see. Like, more high speed things where you get to climb on the different, like, horse carriages and stuff because that's my main concern with these games it's like they kind of lost a lot of novelty because there wasn't any more they could do to reinvent the wheel it seems damn all right you gonna recover from that bro oh zip line zach over here Will you now? You can see the little pieces of stray lint and stuff like that, you know? I like that. Uh. I like how they let the people step in and finish off these oppressors. That is so cool. We see that a lot now in these later trailers. We gotta get this fool out of here. Fuck you. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah. Come on now, how you gonna send him at me? He's an NPC, man. I want uh, a piece of wallpaper pants right here. Ain't not gonna kill this man. <laughs> Somebody gotta kill this fool. That was cool. Like, even the story, like, the narrative, the visual narratives are getting a lot better. Ooh. So the boss, what's he like? He's tired of the rich trampling on the poor. Your services are no longer needed. <laughs> He's just like the rest of the gang. Wants to change things. Difference is 
exist. He actually can. Right, that nigga get out there. He get shit done. Yeah, so that does seem like it's gonna be one of the gameplay mechanics, like doing these high speed sequences. I'm finna English muffin all you motherfuckers. The hell is that? A tremor? Ah, damn! Wow. <laughs> Getting chased by Godzilla, brother. <laughs> that was scary. Mm. All right. Turn. Okay. I like how y'all did that. Oppression has to end. It do, man. They gotta stop. They've been holding us down. Join the syndicate origins. So he's going all the way back now. Yeah, I remember seeing this one too. Oh, ooh, that looks good. Like it can be like a live action version of the Prince of Egypt. Nigga spitting bars. <laughs> Talk to him, Pharaoh. With that uh guy liner you got on. Ooh. Yeah. Man, that's a big ass curtain. Oh. She's finna say, I was And who is this? Is this the main protagonist or is this the antagonist? Oh, that's Caesar. Or some somebody. Hey, the chosen one. Man, that mask looks cool. Hey. Shit. <laughs> Cool. Let's go. But we got your arrows now, boys. Ugh. Back at you. Choke slam. Oh shit. It must be one of the brute enemy types. What you gonna do with that? Oh -ho -ho. Off the foot with it. Come on now. So the counter system has come a long way. If you can do that in the actual end game. You know how these cinematics like to play us though. My, my, my nigga got a fade and everything, bro. Even the haircuts that came a long way. Let's go. <laughs> I'm like, boy, get clapped by my eagle. I got time for you. Snakes can get it too. Yeah, that's cool. I like that.
course, you got to have a cat up in Egypt. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Why is everything disintegrating? What's going on? It's almost like symbolic, like all good things must come to an end. I feel it, man. Everything turns to dust. Yeah, shit. Yeah. All they left is him, I see. Where it all ends, it begins. Okay, that's interesting. Who gonna clean up all this dust? Valhalla. Let's go. Paramount Pictures presents. This is where everybody looks like Charlie Hunnam. Damn, she got the yiddies out. Yeah. Assassin's Creed 3 was my favorite game, so put the 3 on my face. It's like this boat was made from the skin of my victims. Really? Okay, so we don't kill kids, alright? This our Vikings, alright? The narrative ain't matching right now. What are we talking about? Sounds like a hater. Alright, come on, man. Put your little blood crayon. We're going to leave you on red. We ain't answering back. Hey, we ready. It's like everybody got that uh, ugly sexy, you know, they kind of rugged with it, but they still fine. They got that Chad energy. Oh, shit. There they go, baby. 300 style. Damn. I knew most of these guys weren't going to make it. They were giving off major NPC energy. Mm. Wow. Shit. Yeah, some told me Valhalla was going to have some of the most brutal looking scenes. So what they lack in finesse, they really make up with brute force. Damn. Rest in peace, homie. It's personal now. Look at how good this looks, man. The fur looks really good. The hair moves. Is that his dad or is the Grim Reaper or some shit? Oh, okay. Odin, shout outs to him. You ain't shit. I've seen you how you act up in God of War, Ragnarok. That slow ass sword. Oh shit, he bitch slapped the shit out of him. Really? You just walking off, huh? This nigga built tough. Oh. Who put a battery in this man's back? Hey, you forgot one thing. I'm an assassin, nigga. Wipe yourself off. You dead. <laughs> These niggas. Like an evil Ed Sharon. 
Think like a Viking. Kill like an assassin. They are heartless. Why are we seeing this again? Okay, this is a different one. Godless barbarians. Yeah, I feel like we're just repeating this, guys. What's going on here? Like, is this the extended Snyder Cut? It's like I'm watching the same thing over and over. Maybe I'm missing something, though. Maybe this is like a, a remix version of the beat. Oh, it's a woman. That's why. I was wondering why they look so feminine. I was thinking that was just a younger version of the male character, though. Okay, so what is this called? Yeah, female Ivor trailer. That's cool. So they done made Ronda Rousey into a skin up in this game. I wonder if her fighting style is going to change or is this just as is. Like I said, it's just a skin. And the motion capture remains the same. Oh, yeah. She getting that ass beat. These motherfuckers are like, fuck equal rights. No, they're like, embrace equal rights. We're going to beat your ass just like a dude. Ugh. Yeah, my pronouns are die, die, and die. Mm. <laughs> I like that, man. I know some, some butt boys probably got angry by this shit you know so it's probably raised the manosphere that you had the option to choose a chick as the main character I wonder what this chick is built like though if she can beat this mother Pfeiffer she has to be built like Abby from The Last of Us or something Mm. Go ahead and show you something, little girl. You forgot, even though I'm a girl, I'm him. <laughs> what? A woman defeating one of my highest ranking men? It then, nigga. Better hurry up. This is only a limited time offer. What well, is just come a long way with these visuals now? That looks like they're they're mixing the footage. Let's go. Oh. I'm on a boat. How to become Lincoln's new landlord when no one wants to give you the keys? It's simple. Reputation. The reputation that can make him, her, or even him. <laughs> <laughs> First, 
Make an entrance. <laughs> Ain't y'all? Yeah, let's go, man. Yeah. Take the good shit. They bitches. For real, okay, Utrecht. This is how you make your way into history. And I'm your place. Oh. Let's go, man. Let's go to New Asgard. Yeah, it looks like we up in Samurai Jack land now. Right now, Ninja Guide. Code name Red. Of course, you gotta put that bang, bang, bang. Captured an engine. So we in Japan now, man. We on the East Coast. Oh, no, China. I'm tripping. My bad. You know it's real when they got them Chinese violins playing. It start off peaceful, but there's probably a lot of violent shit going on as we speak. You hear them clinks. Can you imagine how much research goes into these games just based on the different culture that they integrate into them? Is that the Great Wall? No, nah, it's just something else. Just a miscellaneous building. All right. Code name Jade. So it's a mobile game, as suspected. Hey. Oh, we up in a uh, Crystal Lake. Alright, what is that? It's a snake. Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? I am. What we got here? So are we in Persia now? Are we taking it back to the motherland, baby? Where it all started? I'm ready to sacrifice everything. Not the bitches, at least. <laughs> yeah. This is like a return of true form right here. Prince of Persia all over again. Gotta keep one step ahead of the law, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. There we go. Who is this? All right, let's go. We in here. Oh, shit, you gotta get beat in. All right, tell me something. Play a little cat and mouse. Wow. Wow, no. Okay, so this is how they did things in the old days. I remember them having to do that to use the blade, which was silly to me. <laughs> really? Somebody's gonna slap people? Ooh. Damn.
And we taking it way back. <laughs> Followed the buzzer, Bray Wyatt style. Mm. Oh, watch out now. I don't want to get too hot on the block. Got your ass, though. An assassin. No, how could that, how could that? None of that. Clear your throat, sir. Ooh, cheap. Little cheap parlor tricks. Mirage. Mm, put a feather over his body because he did. What is that? Coming in 2023. All right, so guys, that concludes my reaction to all of the cinematic CGI trailers to Assassin's Creed. Talk about a walk down memory lane, man. Like I said, I am somewhat familiar with this franchise. Got a chance to play a few of the games, but there's a lot of context missing because I didn't have the luxury of completing these games, man. A brother was going through college, playing a game of grab ass with all the women, and now I'm married, so I'm slower than I used to be, and I'm a lot fatter, as you can see. Um, yeah, like I still enjoy the concept of it, but something tells me that I don't know. I don't know if the novelty is wearing thin because, like I said during the reaction, it seems like Ubisoft is having a hard time reinventing the wheel because it seems like they've done everything they can do in terms of the gameplay mechanics. And they've gone through a lot of locations to, uh, you know, reinvigorate the franchise, going from places like the Middle East to Italy and seeing that they even went over to uh, China is very interesting, even though that's like a mobile game. But still, you get my point. It's interesting how they continue to try to push the series forward and involve, evolve the, the gameplay mechanics. I still argue that the um, the game was peak at its peak during the Ezio and um, Kenway era, you know, like where you had uh, Hate Them and uh, Edward Kenway and um, of course you got um, my boy Connor Kenway. I feel like the games were at that peak when those guys were around because there was still fresh new ideas to implement into the gameplay. You know, I, I just loved Assassin's Creed 3 how you can essentially do parkour inside the houses as opposed to just doing it on the outside. It kind of added to that immersiveness and allowed for more free, free flow movements. Now, uh, in terms of the cinematics, I think they look really good. Uh, I think that's one of the shining points. It kind of makes me wish that they implemented more cinematics like that into the actual game. Because for the most part, all the cutscenes in the game consisted of in-game uh, cutscenes as opposed to just cinematic CGI ones. You know, I feel like you know occasionally during the more climactic moments, you should incorporate CGI into your games. But it seems like we've kind of reached that era now where where the visuals have come such a long way. You know, these, these graphics engines, they continue to push the envelope. They continue to look more realistic and everything like that. So maybe we won't need those, you know, we won't need to see like cinematic CGI cutscenes in the near future because we've reached that point now where we don't really need them. But back in the day, graphics ain't wasn't what they was, you know, like they were good, but wasn't nothing touching the cinematics. And uh, cinematics are still at their peak now. You know, I don't think we've come close to matching them just yet. We're, we're on the cusp of that, but we haven't come close. I like how they used a lot of commercialized music too. Usually I'm not like a big like component, like a good, uh, like I don't vouch for that, but uh, I feel like Ubisoft, like a marketing team, they always hit it out of the park with that. They always utilize songs that are good. I remember like when the first Assassin's Creed came out, they used the opening theme music from House, <laughs> which I thought was cool because, you know, like a lot of people aren't familiar with House. 
but when you hear that theme it just meshes so well with it you know what i'm saying so yeah they always did a phenomenal job with that seeing some of these trailers makes me want to jump back into the franchise you just see what the gameplay has to offer because maybe i'm wrong maybe they are continuing to reinvent the wheel and do different things that you know make it continue to be fresh but who knows guys but um yeah, if I were to rate these, I got to give it an S right off the top. It was very good, very unique to see how these characters die and see how the main protagonists continue to evolve and expand into these teams of assassins. And yeah, now, um, as always, I ask you to like or dislike the video, man. Like, if you guys want to see me do more reactions to cinematic trailers like Assassin's Creed and other video game franchises, do me the biggest favor and give this video a thumbs up. If we hit 1K likes, we'll do some more. And I'll even let you guys decide what you want me to react to next, man. Whoever gets the most likes on their comment, I'll react to those cinematic compilations. So do that. Hit that like button for your boy. But once again, this is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer. We ain't seen any reactions. Hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next video to some cinematics very soon. Peace.